Welcome to Master It Monday. I am your host, Maggie Carey. Well, today I have something exciting to share with you. We're going to be talking about getting exposure on Google My Business by using photos. Now, we talk about Google My Business a lot. As a matter of fact, I had a special guest, Michael Trithart, on a few months back and talked about Google My Business in general. It's really important. I suggest you pop on over and check that out. But today, I'm going to zoom in. I hope you're getting these puns. I'm zooming in on photos today. We're going to talk about how you can use your Google My Business to get that kind of exposure and get those new clients. And let me tell you something. I have customers and clients who have told me that by following a few of the simple tips I share with them on how to get more exposure with Google My Business, they are getting clients, new clients from Google. Coach Glow, one of our fans that watches Master at Monday on a regular basis, has shared with me that she got a client out of the blue because she's using Google My Business on her uh, you know, for, to promote her business. We are going to share with you today some really simple tips to ex give, you, give you more exposure on Google. And remember, these are all free tools that you can use for your business. And look, we spend a lot of money on a lot of stuff with our business. This is one thing you don't have to spend a penny for. So we're going to go right into our presentation today. I'm going to share a little bit about some, some concepts and ways you can use the photos, as well as show you a little bit of the back end on mine so you can see how I use Google My Business because uh, I practice what I preach, right? So if you have any questions, make sure you're leaving them in the comments below. And of course, I'll bring you up on screen. Um, your, you know, this cool little stream yard gives me the ability to show your picture and your business and gives you a little extra promotion. So let's talk about photos on Google My Business. Now, one of the things with photos to keep in mind is they are critical. This is not something that you should be um, not doing. Google My Business is tremendous, has tremendous value, but it's important that you realize that regardless of whether you have a brick and mortar location or that you have a, um, you're just working out of your house, it doesn't matter. You can still have a Google My Business page, whether you're a service or products-based business, and you can still share photos. You can share photos about you, about your business, about um, your services, your products. It's very cool. So here is the thing. If you have a brick and mortar, 42% more requests for driving directions if you have photos. This isn't if you have a Google My Business page. This is if you have photos, 42 more requests for driving directions. So if you have a, uh, um, a brick and mortar, guys, get that those photos on your Google My Business. And 35% more click-throughs to their website. For those of us who have service-based industries that don't have a brick and mortar, that's a great one to, to learn about, right? 35% more, more than a third more click-throughs than your competition. So photos are critical. Let's talk about your business profile photo types. What are the types of photos that you can have in a Google My Business account. So there are a few. There are your there's your logo, which is pretty self-explanatory, a cover photo, which should give you a kind of a feel of your business. It's more long, sort of like you can compare it to your profile picture um, is a logo on your on your Facebook and a cover photo is a cover photo on you want something that'll pop you don't want something you, if you don't have anything there it'll just be plain and boring map which is not really great and then of course there's the business photos and that's what we're going to be focusing in on business photos and videos now when you go into your Google My Business profile, the logo and the cover photo are going to be in a section called identity. But when we're talking about this third type, this business photos, this 
is a little bit different. Now, I, I do get there is some confusion here. I'm talking about where you put your photos, not where you post on Google My Business. And I'll show you the difference when we get into the platform, but keep that in mind. We're talking about photos that identify your business. And this is where they go in. Now, just to give you a sort of like, what is she talking about? What's this Google My Business photo thing? I don't know if you've ever gone to a restaurant and Google Maps will pop up and say, hey, what did you think of this restaurant? And you can, oh, Tay, let me take a picture of my food and, and let me pop it up on Google and share it with Google so that other people can see how great this, you know, this restaurant is. That's a Google My Business photo submitted by a customer, you or me, um, for a restaurant. But you can still do it for businesses that aren't restaurants or hotels or vacation spots. It still works for um, regular, ordinary businesses just like you and me. So let's talk about the different guidelines, okay? It should be in a JPEG or PNG format. It should be between 10K and 5 megabytes. Um, guys, 10K is really, 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 really tiny and can be very, very, very blurry. So uh, you may want it to be more than 10K, but that's the guidelines. They say you can upload something less than a, less than a meg, which is usually where what I recommend. Um, so the recommended re re blah, 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 the recommended resolution, say that three times fast, is 720 pixels by 720 pixels. Why? That's square, but it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be square. Um, and the minimum resolution, again, 250 pixels is really tiny, um, but that is the minimum. So it has to be bigger than that. And of course, and this is where I get to, you know what, if you're talking about those minimums, um, I don't think your your quality of your photo is going to be all that great. So you want to bump it up a little bit. Make sure that the image is well lit, focused properly, um, that you, you're not using too much alterations because it should represent reality. It should be authentic. Um, you can upload video. Now I'm going to be focusing on photos, but I couldn't let this topic go by without sharing the video requirements. It can be up to 30 seconds long. It uh, can be up to 75 megs and the resolution should be 720 or higher. And all of these you'll see here referred to on the bottom support.google.com slash business. All of this information is listed in there. Um, make sure if you're watching us today, if you have any questions, feel free to pop them um, every once in a while. I check to make sure what's going on in the in the comments so that we can answer any questions as we go along. Now, we're going to talk about category specific photos. This is where we're talking about we want to spotlight the features of your business. I want you to start thinking as you're listening today. What are some of the features of your business? Um, you want to aid the customers in making a purchasing decision. This should be the reason why you're putting a photo up there. I'm putting a photo up. What is this photo showing my potential customer? And if they see this photo, will they buy from me? And how does this photo differentiate your business on Google from all of the other businesses that do what you do on social media, what is going to make you different? What makes you different in your business? Think about that and then take a picture of it and then post it on your Google My Business page because that, my friends, is what we're talking about. We need to make customers come knocking at your door. Now, what are the types of these categories? Well, exterior photos. Now, remember, um, say that again, I'm going to zoom my up self. Remember, regardless of whether you have exterior photos or not, because you may not have a brick and mortar, you can still use exterior photos of things like maybe your service, you working with someone in an outdoor venue or of your town, right? Think a little bit outside of the box when it comes to this stuff, okay? So exterior photo, um, 
why do you want this? And you're going to see this throughout my presentation today. I'm going to give you the why. The why is so they can recognize your location, where they're going to be going so that they can find you easily. Okay. The other thing I'm going to tell you is about how many. Now, I'm going to give you a little secret. Most of them are at least three photos per each of these categories that we're talking about today. And here are some tips. Take the photo from a different direction so that when you're, you take it from the front, take it from the side, take it from coming north, take it from coming south, take it from east and west, back, front, whatever, so that they'll see what, not just your place, but what's surrounding you so they can find you better. And of course, taking it different times of day and night. Does your location look differently in the day than it does at night? Maybe you have purple lights. <laughs> Those are things where you can give your, your um, people who are looking for you the look of what it looks like in, in different times of day, um, which I think is a pretty cool tip. Now, interior photos. This is where you want to give the feel of that ambiance and the decor. You want to attract the people who are gelling with what you do. Now, this may be a picture of your office. This may be a picture of, uh, you know, the, the, the place where you hold your meetings. This could be a place of, you know, maybe you out and about in, in action. Okay. So again, at least three. Now here's where, um, I don't have to say this because my users, my people who follow me are, are amazing, but truthfully show what it is like to stand inside your location. You want it to match. You don't want somebody walking into your place and they say, well, their photos did not match what I saw. When I saw their photo, I thought it was going to be this and it wasn't. You want it to gel and also capture the atmosphere. If that means people laughing while they're inside the location, if it's lighting, if it's, um, you know, maybe it's comfortable chairs or maybe it's chrome and steel and grays and blacks, whatever that atmosphere is, you want to have that represented in your interior photos. Now, product photos. If you are a product-based business, these are really important because guys, this people, friends, your products need to be represented on Google. This is a great way. Again, this is free. It's a free way to promote your business. Take advantage of it. Okay. So your product photos are going to be those things that you sell. Um, it should be images of the goods that you offer. Again, have at least three, even if you only have one product, have three different pictures of that product. Showcase the items that are most popular and make sure that your photos, again, this gets back to the quality, even lit photos of your product. Photos at work. I, this is where, this is me, okay? I will tell you, this is where a lot of my photos are of me at work because I don't have a product, right? I have a service. So here is where you're going to, um, if you're a service-based industry, you're going to help customers quickly understand the type of work that you do. Again, three, and photos of your team providing different types of services to your customers. Photos of the specialty services you deliver. Remember when I mentioned to you what sets you apart, what makes you different? Well, like Master at Media, two things that make us different are we have Teleprompter, which is a weekly email newsletter that goes out to our clients that gives them tips and tricks on how to um you know, how to handle their social media, right? It, easily. So teleprompter is one of the things that separates us from our, you know, from our competition. The other thing is we provide um, analytic reports, detailed analytic reports and strategy sessions. And our reports are a little bit different than people are going to find in other places. So what do I do? I pop up some samples of my, um, my reports up on Google My Business. This is something you can do. Think like, how can I make these photos at work work for you? Okay. Now, another one is, this is, you know, more commonly for restaurants, 
food and drink photos. Oh my gosh. Are the food and drink photos popular? You know, it, you know, give me some love in the comments below and let me know how many, uh, are you sick and tired of going to a restaurant and seeing people post their food and, or, and drinks, or do you love it? Let us, let us know what you think. But anyway, here are great ways. And, and this is really popular. Okay. By adding a food and drink photo, you're going to add color and detail to your menu. You're going to um, have the ability to show off menu items. Again, take it three, you know, what's, what would really be cool is, you know, before, during, and after, you know, like the, you know, three different ways of looking at it or from different angles, um, you know, showing the different, maybe it's a different option. Well, this is it with chicken. This is it with fish. This is it with veggies, you know, however the, the dish is prepared. Um, this is great to showcase your most popular food items. You want them well lit because you want people to see what it is. But I do have to tell you, I, I really do feel that if you're a restaurant, you want to have a an image of each of your menu items on your Google My Business page because that will showcase how amazing your menu is. So think about that if you own a restaurant. Now, if you um, have a business that is a hotel or a uh, or offices or has different um, rooms, for you to visit. This will pertain to you. Um, we're talking about having to showcase different areas of your business. So it, thinking of a hotel, it would be the gym, the pool, the, the lobby, you know, the, the different rooms that are there. If you're talking about offices, right? If you're talking about a, an area where there's an entrance way and people mingle there, and then there's a conference room, and then there's the CEO's office, and there's the, you know, the secretary or the admin's office, right? Like all of these areas that people can see so that when they go to your place of business, they're comfortable there because they've already seen it. Um, also, it can be very impressive. Show off what you have. You should have at least a photo, one photo of each room. And also you want to showcase each room, what it is, what its purpose is, and you want the atmosphere of the room. What does it feel like? What What is the vibe that you're trying to convey? We talk about branding a lot here on Master It Media and Master It Monday. Your brand is who you are and it really should be reflected in your location. So for example, like you see in the back here, what I have, you know, I have my, my little purple signs and I have some flowers and I have my little trophy and I have some tchotchke over here. This is all about me and the, the comfort level. And I, you know, focus in on entertainment as well as I have a thing for flowers, guys, and a little thing about purple. So you know, but that's the, that's the thing. Like this is the office. This is what you can project for your business. Now let's move on to team photos. Um, this is my favorite. Nobody likes seeing smiley, happy people more than I do. And I bet you, you know, a lot of your clients would feel the same. So team photos, who are the people in your business? Now, mind you, even if you are a solopreneur and you're the only person in your business, you do have other people in your business. You do have people that you network with. You do have people that you meet with. You do have people who help you. Maybe it's your lawyer. Maybe it's your accountant. Maybe, right? These are all people on your team, you know, trusted advisors. Um, how, you should have at least three photos showing your management team and your employees if you have them. Um, and here's a few tips, right? Show something a little less formal to humanize yourself and your business. Um, show yourself and your staff that highlights their personality. And of course, you want to make sure your clients or potential clients have a feel for who you are and what you're like, right? And a picture says a thousand words. So if you can capture that essence, and of course, you know, we've had uh, professional photographer Gene Terman on our show. You can check out our YouTube channel um, to see more about Gene. But 
she'll tell you a photo photos that represent you are critical and they have to show who you are and your personality and your flair like even if you're very it doesn't have to be the like you know you wearing some funky hat or you know being silly it's who you are and how you represent yourself so team photos really great to show the smiley happy people now i want to share with you there's two different types of photos to be aware of now there's photos by owner and there's photos by customer now all of those photos that we we shared those categories that i just went through are ones that, that you as the owner of the business the owner of the google my business listing can post however there are photos that customers remember in the beginning i talked about oh i'm going to take a picture of my food and i'm going to upload it to google my business right those are customer photos and they could be great maybe not so great <laughs> we're hoping they're going to be great so the owner if you're an owner and a manager of the business that has more uh, one or more verified location on google my business and it goes without saying i'm going to say it anyway if you do not own your google my business listing go get it you must have your ownership of your google my business for a multiple of reasons one so you could upload photos of today's conversation but two you have to own if somebody leaves you a review or maybe somebody confuses you with another business and leaves a bad review which would be horrible you need to be able to respond to it and you need to be able to act on it and you don't want to wait until you get your listing verified to do that so make sure you if you don't know check again our youtube channel has a ton of how to on google my business so just go to master youtube.com master at media and search your heart away for Google My Business and you'll find a few videos. If you really need help, contact Master at Media. Contact me because I can help you figure out how to set that up. And I set it up very simply. It, it doesn't take long and we can get you going. But guys, get that, get that ownership. And those are photos you post. So you can really show off what you want to show off about your business. Now, Customers. These are people that can add photos directly from the Google Maps app. Yes, I said it. They can add it regardless, regardless of whether you have a Google My Business account or not, they can post about your business. So keep that in mind. So the good news is people can post about your business. Other people other than you. This is social proof. This is social media. This is, hey, great, I'm on social media. I want to help this business. I'm going to share that information with them, which is wonderful. What happens if they post not such a flattering photo of you or your product or your services? Or worse yet, what if it isn't even you or your business and it's on your business and now it's just going to create a whole bunch of confusion well that's where you can request the removal of a photo or uh, uh, of a photo or a video that was posted by a customer now it needs to be one of two things it needs to either violate the google maps photo policies or it needs to violate the law Okay, those are two ways that you can get it removed. And if you go to, um, you know, google.com, business.google.com, you go into your account, there's a way of doing that. So keep that in mind. If anyone has ever posted anything on your Google that really isn't you, and this happened, you know, nothing tragic, but it has happened to one of my clients where somebody had posted a picture of a car outside of their business location. Now, it wasn't a bad thing, but it wasn't a good thing. And it certainly didn't represent the business. It had nothing to do with the business. So I reported it to Google. They pulled it because it wasn't pertinent to the business. It had nothing to do with the business and the photos off. So you want good, again, getting back to those high quality, good photos representing your business. Um, so make sure if you have any questions with that, you know we're here. So I'm going to 
um, give you seven tips. And after this, we're going to go right into Google My Business. So stay tuned. But I'm going to give you seven tips. I want you to write these tips down. I want you to keep them close in mind because these seven tips are going to help you skyrocket your presence on Google. Have over 150 photos. I know that sounds daunting. You can do this. It is, it's easier than you think. Just every day, take a photo and in less than six months, you'll have it. Now, here's another thing. You don't want to be going in every day, but I do suggest you add a new photo every seven days. Why do I suggest you add a new photo every day? That's a great question. The reason I want you to add a new photo every seven days is because it lets Google know that you're there and Google loves it when you contribute to them because you are building on their platform, you're building your business with over 78% of people using Google as their primary search engine. You know Google is a great way to promote your business and this is free. So every seven days, collect those photos on your phone, wherever you're doing it. And remember, you can go to your phone and you can access Google My Business right from an app. There's a Google My Business app. So if you want to just do it, boop, 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 add your photos, add those captions, because guess what? The captions are searchable too. So don't forget that. Now, so new photo, new photo, at least one new photo every seven, every seven days, but I'd add a bunch. Um, geotag all your photos. Um, this is where you can uh, use your phone to tag it, you have location set up on your phone when you take a picture and then you upload the picture. There's something hidden behind in the in the, all the, the file uh, information that has that information. So keep that in mind. You can also tag your uh, where you are. Um, avoid duplicates. Nothing is terrible than seeing the same photo twice in a listing. Review customer submitted photos. Oh, yes, we've beaten this horse to death, I think. <laughs> Poor horse. Um, but yeah, review those. And another thing, reason it's great if you go in every seven days, like we said here, check your photos every seven days. Make sure nobody posted anything that's not right. Have interesting, diverse, and engaging photos. You don't want the same old, same old. Mix it up a bit. Show insides, show outside, show this product, show that product, show this service, show that client, show this. Way. Make it different, make it exciting, make it interesting. Um, you know, and, and get those things going. And of course, my last tip is video. Don't forget the all powerful video. And if you already have video, just repurpose it. Just load it onto Google. You already have it on your website. You already have a little story on um, Instagram. Take it and pop it over. Why, why not? It's uh, it might you might be hitting a different audience, right? This is what we're talking about. We don't know who where people are going to find us, how they're going to find us, and if they're looking on a map for the closest whatever, you want to be there and if you have more information than your competitor, hmm, maybe they're, you know, maybe you're selling yourself, right? And and getting that information. Now, we want to make sure that you're comfortable with going into your um into your Google My Business. So I'm just going to share a bit um, of Google My Business with you here, um, just to give you a feel for what it looks like in case you don't know. So here's um, Google My Business for our account. And what I'm gonna do here is go into photos. And as we discussed today, um, the photos are, um, the photos have different places and different, um, different, uh, oh goodness, I'm drawing a blank here. The photos have different categories, <laughs> category specific. Oh my gosh, it is definitely a Monday. So here we're talking about overview um, is all your photos. You can see here right up on the top is my cover photo, my logo. Um, and you can see here there's by owner, 
there's by customer, there's uh, videos at work, team, and my identity, which of course is the owner. And, and as I mentioned, you know, we're by owner out is loaded with stuff. And you'll see here that I've got different people, me, you know, with other people, me on Zoom, me, you know, my staff, right? Um, other, you know, some of my favorite posts I have here, some of our products, some of our events. I mentioned when we did analytics, I have photos of my analytics, what they look like when somebody wants to know, oh, I wonder what kind of reports they send, right? These are places um, and things you can get information about you, your business, where you're located, all of this stuff. And I, I fill it with me, smiley, happy people that I'm with. Um, you will get there. The one thing that I do want to say, like we talked about 150 some odd photos, right? One of the things I don't want you to get confused with is your posts, because I crisscross a little bit of my posts with my, um, my posts with my photos. So sometimes you'll see photos that are also posts, but a post is where I'm putting information about, you know, like, just like you would post on Facebook or Instagram. So you can see, um, you know, here are a list of my posts that I have done. Okay. And they've got learn more, you know, they're, you're not going to get a full caption with a link on a photo. So here, if we go on uh, to a photo and I click on this, I'm, I'm just getting the photo, right? When I do a post, when I do, you know, when I go to posts here, I'm getting more than just the photo, right? I'm, uh, you know, as I'm scrolling through here, you're going to see that um, here's that, here's that photo I used, but look at the post. It had a lot more here and it had a link to teleprompter and a link to sign up. I can also see how many people viewed it. I can also share this right from here. So photos are extremely valuable. This is where when I go to search master it media on Google and I hit enter. Okay. This is my Google My Business page, and you'll see it pop up here. If you don't have a cover photo, you all you'd see is the map, so you want to make sure you do that. And then, of course, down here, you're going to see your products, so you want to make sure you have products. Um, and, of course, like I'm looking at this from me because that's about me, but my photos are, are up here. I can click on See Photos and then See My Photos. And this is where my photos would sit. People can take a look at them. They can look at the latest. They can look at inside. They can look at owner. They can look at the videos. See where I'm saying here why this is important to fill all of these out so that you can see um, the value of Google My Business for a client. This is so important. Um, to make sure that you are giving your clients a real good feel for your business. Well, that is Master It Monday and Google Photos and how to get more engagement. So if you have any questions, always feel free to contact Maggie Carey at Master It Media. I'm, uh, you can find me right on my website. We're on all the socials, you know, YouTube, LinkedIn, um, oh, sorry, that was Teresa from last week, LinkedIn, Google My Business, we're, we're all over the place. And one of the things that I strongly suggest you do is if you struggle with social media and you're tired of trying to figure it all out on your own, please take a look at Teleprompter. We just released a free trial that'll give you two weeks for free to check it out to see if it would be helpful for you and your business. And remember, as always, with Master at Media, we're here to help you take the commotion out of your promotion. See you next month.